Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry that last video cut off so quickly. I just decided to pick up where it left off. So, I was talking about um, the cry of distress and how the Lord was responding to this cry. Because it was, the Lord hears our prayers all the time. But this, this cry of distress that we see in Psalm 18 Verse 6, in my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. Okay, what I was fixing to get into is this cry is it's different in that level of distress. I mean, I know there's times that we, we call out to the Lord in distress, but as I was pointing out, this is, is uh, stress, distress brought on by the sorrows of death and hell. And it's a devastating time, okay? And over here in Revelations 8, we see in verse 3 how... Uh, an angel came and stood at the altar, having golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. Okay, after these prayers, these specific prayers here, are mentioned, and they are offered. It says, And the smoke of the incense which came, with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and earthquakes. Okay, having read that, we're going to go back over here to Psalm 18. And we can see everything that was just mentioned taking place within these verses of Psalm 18. So the Lord gets this cry of distress. Then we see the earth shake and the hills are moved and we see fire and smoke in verse 8. And the Lord will show me how this ties in with uh, the prayers that are being offered. It's this cry of distress from his children and he's responding to it in a way that he doesn't typically respond to our distress of our cries of distress because this is the cries of distress that is coming from death and hell from the from what is being brought upon the world from these first four seals, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Okay, once we get down just a little further, okay, we started off where we saw, we talked about the cries of distress. Okay, the earth shook and the fire and the smoke, which ties in to Revelations 8, where we were in Revelations 8. And we've already covered how he bowed the heavens or parted the heavens and came down. Now here on came down, I wanted to get back in to where the Lord had given me the word trump and the scripture that he gave me. If you recall on that video, uh, the Lord was showing me the connection he was making there. And we saw in the scripture that he gave me with that word trump was first Thessalonians um, 416 I believe yes where the scripture says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Okay, the very first part of that verse, for the Lord himself shall descend. And here we see 
in verse 9 of Psalm 18, we see how he parted the heavens and came down. And descending and coming down are the same thing, okay? We also see, if I can get there right quick, it's in Revelations. I do believe, it. no, wait a minute, let me think. I'm just going to tie this into, um, you know how sometimes your mind goes blank, I'm having a blank moment. Bear with me. Um, let's see. Let's cover that. I think I was going to go to the four horsemen. Here we go. Here we go. Um, we see here that In Revelation 6, well, this kind of goes back to what I was speaking of in the last video about the earthquakes. If you look in verse 12, we see the earthquakes taking place. If you look in verse 14, we see the heavens parting um, and the mountains and the islands being moved as the hills were moved in Psalm 18. And then here, here, here's what I want to tie it into. Um, Verse 16 and 17 of Revelation 6. I'm sorry. I am distracted a little bit here. Okay, 16 says, And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us. This is the people talking, okay? And hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Now we see that God was doing this because of his wrath, which is anger. And here we see it, it ties in right here because we're seeing the wrath of the Lamb. In verse 17 of Revelation 6, it says, if I can get this over here, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? And I feel like the Lord is tying this all in together. We also see in Matthew, let me see if I can get there right quick, in Matthew 24, um, we see that the four, the first four seals, which is the four horsemen of the apocalypse, we see that, um, let me get this over here where we can kind of see. We, we, we looked at that and we saw that um, the things that Christ was speaking of that he was telling his disciples about. we see happening in the first four seals. And then in verse 8 of Matthew 24, it calls this, it says, all these are the beginnings of sorrows. And then immediately it goes to, and they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations of my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Here, where it says they shall deliver you up and kill you, we can see how that that very easily can be given us a picture of uh, martyrdom, people dying for the name of Christ. And that also ties back in to this cry of distress. And I think that we are seeing that now in the Middle East, where we have the Christians over there, especially in Iraq, was. Uh, the last that I was um, seeing a report on how Christians are um, being killed and beheaded because of their faith in Christ. So we can see how Psalm 18, Matthew 24, and Revelations 6 through 9 are all tying in together. And I'm going to stop this right here and pick up on that in the next video. Hopefully it won't be too long. Thank y'all. I love you. Bye-bye.